Welcome. Welcome everyone. Uh, make it so. Hey. You don't have to greet them, but I mean. Oh, the chat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello. Getting myself organized here. Got my coffee. Have coffee. We'll travel. It's hot. New machine tonight. This is actually a new new machine. Hey, Jerry. Hello, Steve. Hi, Diane. Hi. Hi, Ruth. How are you? Let's do a tech check and how's the sound and the video? Hello. Hi, Beverly. Welcome. Hey, Louise, Patsy, Peggy, welcome, Cheryl. West Virginia, you get any snow out there? Debbie. Yeah, we're having snow again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mindy. It's Kansas. They say if you don't know, if you don't like the weather in Kansas, wait an hour because it will change. Yeah. Hey, Cindy. That's Patsy, what I was told Carol. right after I moved here from hey, Hawaii. Amber. Where the weather is the same every day. It rains every morning <laughs> and it's sunny every afternoon. <laughs> Except in February, it's kind of rainy. So, oh. but they have the big waves and the surf competitions on the North Shore. So, but. So you have something to do in February. You do have something to do. Go to the beach all year round. They say the same for Mississippi. <laughs> that must be kind of a Midwest thing, maybe. Don't know. Hey, Mindy, uh, we are in Kansas City. Overland Park, yeah. suburb of Kansas City. Yeah. A lot of suburbs in Kansas City. Hey, Judy. We're just waiting for a few more people to get on, and then we'll do the introduction. Hey, Darlene, how are you tonight? I'm going to move that over just a little bit. Got your blocks for the material today. All right, nice. Beverly's getting ready to do some sewing. Beverly's fantastic sewer. Beverly. Oh, Mindy's in Kansas City too. Well, welcome. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. We are doing a block of the week. So I have, I'll show you, I've been doing some catch-up sewing. So I'll show you these. And this idea came from Diane Schilling. She's in our go club. Hanging them on a, on a hanger. Ten minutes and changes in Michigan. I believe that, Kathy. <laughs> so they're predicting anywhere from 5 to 12 inches of snow for us. Maybe 14. Maybe 14. <laughs> if you hear my son tell it, it's going to be like 22 inches of snow. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, we got a great show for you tonight. Um, I don't know if you guys know, it's, um, what month is it, Joan? It is National Embroidery Month. How fun is that? I, it's one of my favorite things to do. So, love to share it with you. We've made embroidery quilts. I've got a lot of show and tell. And we've got some, we've got an incredible, well, a couple of incredible machine specials. This, well, let's do our introduction. So, yeah. we Tom. are Quilters HQ, Windmill Sewing Center, and Sewing Machines Express. And the websites are quiltershq.com, windmillsewingcenter.com, and qhq the number two dot com um, announcements because we have some new classes there is a free virtual machine embroidery event this is from oesd that is thursday this thursday february 3rd starts at 11 a.m you can go to the website quiltershq.com and register for that um, those are fun we get a lot of good feedback for those virtual events so sit at home in the warmth, you don't have to worry about going out anywhere and watch an embroidery event. Um, Table Runner Club, lot of interest in this one, so do not wait to sign up. This is March 10th. It begins, um, it's nine classes, so it's gonna be nine table runners. Uh, 10.30 to noon at Quilters HQ, and it's for the beginner to the seasoned quilter. It's 25 per class or $200 for all nine classes. And book and kits are available for purchase. And that's going to be Stephanie Dodson. She's taught a lot of classes for us. She's really good. Um, beginning quilt piecing. 
is four weekly programs on Friday, April 1st through 22nd from 1030 to 1 at Quilters HQ. They are $60 for all four classes. And beginning quilting with the walking foot is April 29th through May 20th from 1030 to 1 at Quilters HQ. How easy is that? I mean, that's yeah. everybody should take that class because then you can finish your table runner at home. Um, Diamond Skill Builder by Hoop Sisters. That's one. We showed you the quilt last week. We might do a drive-by on that one and just show you the quilt. Um, that one is $280. It's seven classes and includes the program and designs CD and the fabric for that one um, and the stabilizer too. Let's Surge One. Um, Amazing class. They're having a lot of fun in there. I know. I was here on Saturday, and I mean, they're just doing all kinds of stuff in there. Oh, we have a show and tell. Oh, that's right. We do have a show and tell for, for her, class, um, too. her class. And so that one's going to start again on April 2nd. It's $120, and you get eight classes, eight sessions. I don't know what that works out to, but it's not much for class. Um, Kimberbell Club for February is February 12th at Windmill Sewing Center. And it's a zipper pouch. Oops, these two. Yeah. And that's it. That's all the classes we have coming up. And these are the show and tells that they did. So little, um, they look like hobo bags. <laughs> they do. It's yeah. like little, yeah. you know, put your yeah. stuff in it. Pop the set. train. Pop the train, carry them with you. So they just have a finished edge. So. I think you had a granddad that actually did that. Did any did of you? you have any? The hop the train? Yep, the hobo hop the train. My hey, mom Mrs. Cranford, how are you? And my uh, aunts and uncles all took the train to school every day. Oh, my wow. grandfather retired from the railroad. Nice. So, Run away from home. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. He was in uh, Provo, Utah for when they were tying the lines together in the 40s and 50s. Hmm. Okay, so we are doing a sew along and I did some homework, some of my blocks that I finished, so I'll flip through them. I don't have all of them that we've done here. I've got one I wanna, I sewed together a little bit wrong, so I have to unsew, which is not my favorite you thing. Got out your seam ripper? I know. Oh, it's a bad word. Happens to all of us, right? It's a bad so, four-letter word. I know. So, yeah, ripper for that one, but hey. But that one, which one is this? Flying geese. Flying geese. I finished this last night. So pretty. The blocks look so much different than the fabric when they're sewn together. Bow ties. Mm -hmm. It's a classic block. And then just a little flower and square and a square. And tonight we are doing, I don't know, this is the O's portion of X's and O's. So here's the pattern and it is on the website. So we're using, this sent us in a little rabbit hole today, the trapezoid. And we were talking about, I thought it was called a Zoid, but it was actually the Noid. From, that they'll probably remember. Don't right? get the Noid. Who was the, it was a pizza place. Domino's. Domino's. Yeah, the, the little Noid. But I thought it was called a Zoid because, you know, trapezoid is such a fun word to say. <laughs> so a little bit different cutting for this. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we're using die number five from the eight inch cube. These are both from the eight inch cube. And so let's get started. So we need 32 half square triangles. So let's go ahead and cut these out. And in your kit, you'll have 11 inches and I just went ahead and cut them in half. I'm gonna lay these out like so. Hey Karen, how are you tonight? Judy said on the uh, boho bags, they uh, learned how to use the rolled hem foot. The rolled hem foot. On the boho bags. I think she had a typo there. Is it boho? Maybe it's a boho bag. I don't know. Is it boho bag? Well, it doesn't have anything on here, oh, so. Okay. <laughs> you know. 
Uh oh. I didn't grab my mat. You want a mat? I need a mat. Uh, am I back there? Um, they might be back there. So while he's grabbing me a mat, on your colored fabrics, you're going to cut those into six inch squares. That one. And um, then I'm going to show you how to cut this shape out. So you're going to get two from each piece. So let's go ahead and cut these. Thank you, Robert. There's 12. I love this system. I was playing with the four inch cube last night and I'll bring in and show you when I get closer to being finished what I was doing. But I was having a lot of fun. That one goes away together so amazing. You know, you're working with these little tiny pieces, but they just sew together perfectly. 24. Hi, Cecilia. How are you? Welcome to the show. Hi, Teresa. How are you tonight? Hi, Kathy. You're not late. You're never late. And we got a new color of the month. We do, Aerofill Club. Yeah. And 36. This will make 36. We only need 32, so. But I'm already cutting half square triangles, and you use them everywhere in quilting, and this is a really good neutral color. So just Get yourself a little plastic baggie and put your extra pieces in that and save them for when you need them. Okay, so this one, you're going to take your square that you cut into six inch squares and you're going to fold it in half corner to corner. And then you're going to place it over your die with the long side of your fold towards the long side of the shape. And that's how you're going to get two of these. So I'm going to stack up three so that I can do my six layers. Fold in half, corner to corner. And then I'm going to take my fold and I'm going to kind of line it up with the edge here and then just slide it up enough to cover that. So I should have checked. Yep. Make sure that you are on the straight grain, so give your fabric a little stretch. Cover it and send it through. There's your waist and there's six of our eight pieces. And I'm just checking my grain to make sure I'm going the same direction with all of them. That way. Hi, Lana. Corner to corner. And again, I'm going to cover up just enough of that fold. This is a great shape to work with. You can add a lot of interest to your quilts. So we need eight of each color. And so we're getting two from each piece, so you should have four pieces of each. And then I'm going to stack the last of them together to cut those. Did everybody catch that, how to cut this shape? Give us a thumbs up if you got it. Smash up the like button. And be sure and like and share and follow and thumbs up and all of the stuff with the buttons.
We had a question Ruth was asking, are you worried about the red print going the right direction? You know, I don't. Um, and if you look at my blocks, let's see if we can find one that has the, the red on it. Yep, so if you want to do a close-up of that block, it's not that noticeable. So yeah. this is a directional print because it's got these little, I don't know, they kind of look like beehives, little beehives. And so some of them are pointing this way, some of them are pointing this way. But from a distance, you can't tell. So if you can't see it from, so if you're looking through the camera, this is about four feet. If you can't tell from here, it's not worth trying to make them all go the same direction. Some directional prints, yeah, stripes, you kind of want to make sure that they're going the same direction. Um, or not, depending. It could add interest to your quilt. So is everybody coming up for the... They did give the thumbs up. Several give the thumbs up. Beverly, Peggy, Debbie. Yeah. So it's just not a shape that we use often in quilting, but it's a lot of fun. It's a really great... And then these are going to be mixed up. And we'll sew the blue one together. But I can't wait to show you what I'm doing with the four inch cube. I showed Robert, he knows, but I can't tell you. Well, that's pretty cool. one more and then we're finished cutting and then we can talk about this machine we do have a giveaway tonight we do you just need to comment to get entered to win last pieces okay and then save these for your serger blocks crazy quilts. So dig those sergers out and make your crazy blocks from all of these little leftover scraps. A lot of fun. We did a video on these. It's online. You should be able to find it in one of our live sessions. Hey Jennifer, welcome. So we're going to sew one of these shapes together. I'm going to sew the blue one. And so let's lay it out a little bit. John, do we have any of the, uh, someone's asking if we had the cutting gloves, probably a rotary cutting. Mm -mm, we don't. So this is why we lay these out. This is one you could get hey, mixed Leslie, up how are you tonight? pretty easily. So you're building this kind of square on point shape. Yeah, it looks like a little house. That looks like a house with a roof. <laughs> we got Robert's commentary. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey Donna, how are you? Hi Cheyenne. And then you have you have your half square triangles on the outside and the inside. And today I'm sewing on the 770. This is a Elma 770. And it's on sale this month. Uh, it's on one of the sheets somewhere. So, I think it's buried under the boho bag. Just like that. So one whole segment. Oh, so, thank you, Diana. Welcome to the show. This machine is normally $39.99. It is on sale for $27.99. 350 built-in stitches. One push needle plate remover, AccuFeed upper feed system, so that's a cool system. Um, automatic thread tension control and presser foot adjustment. So if you're in my club, in my AccuQuilt club, you it's I think every single time I harp on presser foot pressure. <laughs> 
I'd be like, oh, John's going to talk about Pressa for Pressure again. <laughs> Pretty much every time. So somebody can verify that for me. And, and it's important because if you've ever sewn two lengths of fabric together and one ends up longer than the other, but you cut them the same time, that same size, that's your presser foot pressure. So um, you can come in and see us about this machine. And then we have another machine that we showed you last week and it's on sale for National Embroidery Month. Make sure 1.8. So I went to, so there's two modes in this. So you can either automatically lock your stitches or just sew. But it's set up for a quarter inch seam right now. So I'm just going to hey, let it rip. Is that bad Joel or good Joel? Oh, it's good Joel. <laughs> I don't think he gets the reference though. It's a Deadpool reference. Yeah, well, maybe I'll go watch it. <laughs> it's funny. And I'm also using, this is a Singer attachment. Hi, Carol. Hi, Virginia. You're oh, welcome. Somebody Missed you. It's a Singer attachment. It's the seam guide. And it's this little thing that bolts into the plate. And um, I've got my position. I've got my straight stitch plate on the machine. Hey, Debbie. So these little corners won't sink down into the... the bed of the machine when I sew them. I hate it when that happens and you got to dig it out and cut a new piece because you always mess up the corner. How's Washington treating you? So the other cool thing that this machine does is it will memorize how far you sewed and why, and why do we care about that? So if you're making a grandmother's flower garden and you're sewing hexes, you have inset seams or Y seams. And so with a grandmother's flower garden or a hexy, you're going to mark your stop point on your first piece and line it up with the, the there's a line on the plate that you can line it up that shows the, the angle the degree in degrees. And so you can tell this machine because it's popping up and asking me is my piece the same size or a different size I don't have to answer it I can just keep sewing so if you're sewing hexes by machine together you mark your stop point you stop at that point and then when you line up your hexy on that that line that's on your plate the machine will only sew that many stitches so you don't have to mark every single hexy when you're sewing how cool is that? That's a very cool feature. Well, Virginia's been kayaking, so. I like nice. kayak. Where is she kayaking? I think she, I think she thought she was up in Washington. Yeah, okay. They're kind of more rainforest, so they're a little warmer than we are here. I have been living up to my New Year's resolution to sew more. She has been. She's been sewing every night. Yeah. And look, I'm sewing tonight too. Oh. That was a little teaser, Donna. So we'll show that here in a little bit. What are we teasing? What was in front of the machine? Oh, the Lana Kitty. <laughs> Or the, the purse parrot. Oh. Yeah, that's a new thing I ordered. I just thought they were fun and thought you would enjoy them. Because I do. And I'm just going to hit these with the iron and press this towards the... Um, I'm actually going to alternate these, I think. So I'm going to press two towards... On the outside, so the light blue is going to be on the outside, so this seam doesn't matter. So I'm going to press all of these towards the outside. Well, I think that's the fun part, right? You get to sew all day. Don't get anything else done, just some sewing. What else is there to do? <laughs> I 
and then these other ones so you know these are all going to go together like this so you want to press two of them with your seams towards the point and you want to press two of them with the seam towards the darker fabric so we can nest these when we sew them together like that and so when we go to sew these like this those seams because we're going to sew just right down this corner hey Miranda how are you those seams will just be nested okay but before we do that, we're going to sew the corner pieces on. So let's let's pair these up because these are going to go, to go together like this. So we're sewing corner to corner, and this is where your straight play, straight stitch play comes in handy because this corner tends to get lost down in our sewing machine bed. I mean, cut now. Uh, no, Virginia, she's doing a, a block of the week, basically. Um, for a quilt and their 10 inch squares, it's for 16. 16 inch squares on the quilt. And we are using the AccuQuilt 8 inch cube to cut them out. And you can, you can download them off the website. Mm -hmm. All of the patterns on the Quilters HQ website, there is a link up at the top of the page. You can go and download all of them. Free patterns. Who doesn't love free patterns? Last one. machine I'm flooring it so um, I don't know what the stitches per minute are but I would say adequate for most people and let's just press these so I want to think about this for a second so when we're pressing these so you want to have two with your seams pressed towards the light blue and we need to find those and line them up so I'm looking at this seam that I pressed this way, so I'm going to press this one this way as well. And so this one is one of the opposite where I press towards the light and I'm going to press this one this way as well too. So all of our seams in the middle and on the side should be going in the same direction. And so when we piece this together, Nope, just the opposite. So that's the right way. This one needs to go just the opposite way. We'll post a link for the sew along in there, Virginia. So line these up on your ironing board and make sure your seams are going the right way. Nope, I had it right the first time. Let me use it over here. Okay. So this one is going this way. So this one can go here. And then this seam is going to go down. How many of you use steam when you press your blocks? All 
right, so it's a poll. Steam or no steam? And that is the question. One. I have been, and I kind of like it. We got some votes coming in. Smashing up the like button here. Okay, so got there's... Got dry steams. We got... Oh, boy. Is it a house divided? It's a... Yeah. All right, so this is where I always get messed up when I'm going from the ironing board to the sewing machine. I ended up I end up sewing the wrong seams. I'm gonna keep these in order. Give me a so right there, and I'm just gonna make sure all my seams are lined up here, and then we're gonna piece this together. Oh, we hope so too, Donna. slow myself down because I keep pulling on my fabric. Yeah, Mrs. Cranford said you said to be careful not to stretch your block. Yeah, that is one you don't want to stretch. Well, not so much now because it's in when you're sewing in this on this bias is when you want to be sure and not stretch your block. Yeah, I don't remember. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I messed myself up. It's this side. <laughs> I tried to be good and tried to remember, but I didn't. So better to check. Because this is the point where I always mess myself up. It's like going between the um, ironing board and the sewing machine. Every time. No, Donna, we just have... Two stores in uh, Kansas City in Overland Park and one in Springfield, Missouri. Since this is on the straight grain, I'm going to use the doohickey. There you go, Donna. And press the seam. I'm going to go the other way. Press the seam. Bleeding. How yucky. Yuck. Here in Kansas City? She said no way, though. Mm. No one told her. That's okay. We have all-wheel drive. We know how to get around. Been here a while. Many snowstorms. Okay, let's just make pretty sure. divided on the steam, no steam, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. I think I stretched my block earlier. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? That's okay. <laughs> Everybody so, should have the doohickey. That's right. That's I'm right. Everybody should have a doohickey. So I did stretch my block a little bit when I was sewing, so I'm off like about a quarter of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over, nest those seams right there, and then use the sewing machine to work this fullness into the block. So you start out with your few stitches. If I can get it lined up. There we go. Put that under the machine. We will, Mrs. Cranford. Oops, I broke my thread. And Hi, I Kitty. Know. How are you tonight? Did I mention this has a needle threader? And you can open that up when you lose your thread. Where'd it go? Always thread. <laughs> <laughs> I broke it off with the needle threader. Mm. Always thread your machine with the presser foot up. I can hear it. And there we go. Let's try this again. 
line up my seam. And then I'm just going to give a gentle tug on this top piece as I'm letting the feed dogs pull that through. And it works every time. I don't end up with puckers, but all of that extra, especially working on the bias. So see, let's give it a quick press. And we can move on to show and tell. Show and tell. And I am going to use some steam on that because it's not laying quite as flat as I'd like. And that's why I like steam. And there's the segment of this block. And we're only going to do one because we're short on time. And we've got a lot of other stuff to talk about and show you. So it's National Embroidery Month. Let me get my sheet real quick and we'll look at this machine. So we actually did a video of this machine sewing. This is the Elma 850. It comes with two hoops. So this is a great place to start. If you have not, if you don't have an embroidery machine now, this is a sewing and embroidery combo. And last week we actually did a, a block on this machine. It comes with two hoops. So you've got your, you know, square hoop, and then you've got a larger hoop. So all of the things, the show and tells that I'm going to do you show you you can do on this machine normally this is $49.99 this machine is on sale through the end of the month for $29.99 so that's a no-brainer this is a great entry point into embroidery for you know three thousand dollars $29.99 what do you like about embroidery it's like your favorite thing to do. It is my favorite thing in, to do. Um, you know, maybe I like credit for, you know, something I really didn't do. Because with embroidery, you go, you hit the button, and you change some thread, and you go, look what I did. So, it's hard to mess it up. So, if you like to do applique, applique on an embroidery machine makes your applique perfect. And I'm going to show you some examples. And so, for the month of February, in all three stores, so Machines Express, Quilters HQ, and Windmill Sewing Center, we are doing 15% off of all embroidery thread, all embroidery designs, and all stabilizers. So now's the time to stock up. And if you don't have a machine, this will get you into one and into one of our clubs. Let me grab the... This is the... Um, Hoop Sisters project that Vicki's going to be teaching. You can do this project on this machine. So I think it's almost full, but we might There's going to be another embroidery club starting at There's Windmill. There's so. always an embroidery club. We yeah. have Kimberbell. We do all kinds of, we've done quilt alongs where you make an embroidered quilt. That one was really, we did that in Windmill and uh, Sewing Machines Express. A lot of, lot of people love that one. Yeah. I almost said ladies, but we have a guy in there too, so. Yeah. Ladies and gents. Kimberbells and Kimberbellas. Kimberfellas. Yeah. Kimberfellas. There you go. So, doesn't take up a lot of space. So, like a lot of embroidery machines, you have this big arm that sticks out. Your embroidery arm for this is actually, let me see if I can unhook it. Yep. Here we go. Sits on the back of this machine. You can leave it on there to sew, and, you know, it's a really nice sewing machine, too, but it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. You do have a little bit of space in the back. I'm going to open this up. So you need to have a little stand like this so that you can have a little bit of clearance. So this is, what, a foot and a half, maybe? Yeah, by yeah. So this is really all of the room you need in your sewing room. That's just room. a little kiwi from Arrow. Yep. And it has thread storage, too. Mm -hmm. So there's yeah. a little cabinet in here. Nope, it's on the other side. Yeah. Little drawers over here that you can store your thread. Mm -hmm. So 
Soft closed doors. Soft closed drawers. It opens up. It does double duty as a cutting table and an ironing station. There's a little ironing mat that goes on here too. It has a little hole so it sinks in. So, but this is perfect for a little machine like this. So $29.99, normally $49.99. That's a great sale. Somebody and asked what model that is. This is an Elma 850. So these are not sold online. Um, you can only get them in the stores. So come see us and talk to us about this. You'll love it. I love it. Let me show you what you can do with it. So show and tell. So this is some of the stuff we've done in our clubs here at Quilters. Are you going to talk about Lana? I have more. You're baking cookies. This is actually, this is so cute. This is actually um, another machine. It's the L830, I think. And these designs come on the um, machine. So I thought that this would be super cool if you did like a little yellow jumpsuit on it and take out, you know, one of the legs and then you have a little minion. Oh, that's one we made in class, wasn't it? Yeah, it's one we made in class. So there's that one. So this is a Kimberbell project. These are bench buddy pillows. And all of this is done in the hoop. Little buttons. I don't know if the buttons are in the hoop. They might be. Little bicycle. But these things are just adorable. This one was a Halloween project. All in the hoop. I love the little. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a slip or bloomers, but this is cute. Pineapple. Little snowman. So this is all one club that we did the fall. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. Christmas. And then another little fall. These are great gifts for people who are not quite quilt worthy. You know, you, you do something like this and go, look what I made you. When all you did was hit a button. And, you know, they're getting a handmade gift. And then the crazy quilt. This one is so pretty. So that was one year of clubs. And then we did, well, actually there was two more, but we don't have the pillow forms in them. So we have spring is in the air. And bunny kisses and Easter wishes. And then we had a mug rug club. We had Mr. and Mrs. Pineapple, and we used heat transfer vinyl on this to get the glitter. Sewing machine, sip and sew. This one was super popular, the little uh, gnome. Christmas gift. A little camper. And this is another bench pillow, a bench buddy pillow. So those are just kind of a little sampling of what you can do in so the club. So you had a question. Okay. Um, are we participating in the Kimberbell DDE program? Yes. Okay. Yep, that is our Kimberbell club. That is the next one is February um, 7th. I think it's Thursday, February 12th. So February 12th, that's next Thursday, right? I think, no, next Saturday. Not this Saturday, Saturday after. And $200 a year, $200 for the year, or um, $25 per class. Any other questions? 
Uh, nope, other than I need to fix Mr. Cranford's bobbin counter, so. Okay, so I brought a couple of spools of embroidery thread. So these are from Floriani and Embellish. Um, they are a really good match because they're both by Floriani. They're the distributor r &K. So this is 40 weight thread and this is 80 weight thread. So we had, some, we had a conversation in the store and um, our manager, Cindy, said, well, nobody ever buys the 80 weight thread. And I'm like, well, that's because of us because we haven't educated our customer to know why they need the 80 weight thread. So if you like doing free freestanding lace, raise your hand or give us a thumbs up. This will make your freestanding lace amazing. So what we do right now, we use a, and I'm going to show you one of my products, the favorite. This is from Embellish. This is a rinse away mesh. So it's heavier than some of the rinse away products. Now I will tell you, when you use this, don't run it on your faucet and let the I stuff own. go down your drain because this is like a glue. Get a bowl, put your project in it, let it disappear, and then flush it down your toilet. Because you don't want it, you don't want this stuff clogging up your drain. And it will. It's goopy. And so soak it. I've used Depending on how dense it was, I've used a couple of layers of this. So I'll hoop this in my hoop, put my fabric on top, and then I'll cut just enough to cover the embroidery area that I'm doing, and then I'll just slide that under the hoop. These are $33.99, except for the month of February, they're 15% off. So freestanding lace. So if you're doing, say, a Christmas ornament or angel or something, Normally, what we would do is wind the 40 weight thread in the bobbin and in your, you would put it on the top in your sewing machine. If you use the 80 weight thread in your bobbin, for one, you get more thread in the bobbin. We don't like to stop and wind bobbins. And it makes your freestanding lace look a whole lot better. So that's one use for this, the freestanding lace. The other one is if you've ever given out the um, tea towels with the holiday cookie recipe or a cocktail recipe or something like that, this is perfect for that. Because when we digitize lettering, it's hard to get that really good density and not have it have a little hoop in the, or a little mound of embroidery thread. If you use the 80 weight thread, it will stay flat and you want that and it's going to be flatter on your towel. I mean, we don't really use those towels. They're for decoration, but um, you want to use this for lettering. So that's a couple. There's a, a lot more uses for this thread, but if you if you do freestanding lace or lettering, a lot of lettering, consider buying a spool, try it out, see how you like it, and, and give it a go. So we have these. So if you have Floriani or Glide or anything else like that, you can pick this color and match it up to the color that you're purchasing for your freestanding lace. Um, Pam says, do you use it in your needle for FSL also? No. So I would use, so most of your freestanding lace is designed for 40 weight thread. So you get this on top and you put this in the bottom. And you're like, this is a whole lot more. These are, I think they're uh, three something. A spool? Yeah, this thing says six ninety nine. But... Okay, so I'm wrong. Six ninety nine a spool. Um, worth it. So you still get as much thread on this as you do here, but think about this in terms of your bobbin. So if you wind your bobbin, how much thread you're going to get here as opposed to here. This is eighty weight. This is forty weight. Um, if you use this on your top and through your needle, you need to use a top stitch needle. You have to use a top stitch needle or your thread will end up breaking. Is that the air conditioner? Or heat? So, um, it's a great, we'll do a project with this one of these days and show you how it works. Maybe on that machine. Okay, what else did we have? New color of the month. Aerofills, color of the month. This is a variegated thread, and this one for February is bubblegum. It's a good Valentine's Day color, too. Tell me what you said. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is color number 30. 
Oh, it seems right over the number. 3660. 3660. 3660. It's 15% off for the month. And then if you're in the club, it's 20% off. And are you going to talk about your printing? Oh, yeah. Well, I just printed out. So. so we were kind of messing around with the garment printer at some point. I just took this print that we took in um, the Grand Tetons yeah. and just shot this from my phone directly over to the printer and printed it out. We got to so, talk about your modest kitty here. Oh yeah, that my kitty, I grabbed a picture of her one day because she's borrowing my chair. And uh, so I snapped a picture of her and I put her on the garment printer. She looks like she's ready to get her toenails painted. She does. <laughs> she's pretty funny. She is. A little thick one. She's a queen of all that she surveys. That's for sure. But yeah, the garment printing is, is super cool. So think um, Baltimore album block. It'd be fun. So if you can get it digitally, you can print it here and make yourself a cheater quilt. So someone who's quilt worthy, but not on the top of your quilt worthy list, because I don't know anybody that's on the top of my Baltimore album quilt list. That's a me quilt. <laughs> that's not a, a <laughs> giveaway. So these. It's, it's actually, um, it's a garment printer. So it's not necessarily laser. These are so cute. It's a purse parrot. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Cranford. So they have two colors. They're green and kind of a bluish purple. So the, the purple one has blue scissors and there's a little snap. And they're just little... Little scissors. Little scissors to go in your go bag. Aren't they adorable? They're pretty cool. How much are they? Um... $6.99. Guess what our they giveaway is. We should give away two. Purse. Parrot. So well. comment, make it mine. Let us know whether you want to ship okay. or pick up. And let us know what color you want, the blue or the green. Okay. Welcome, Pam. Yeah. Um, do you want to go over? There's some new viewers on tonight on okay. how they order from us and things like that. So things like the stabilizer that I was talking about, this is the Embellish Rinse Away Mesh. So you would comment, make it mine, rinse away mesh. Let us know whether you want to ship it or pick it up. Shipping is a flat rate of $5.99 unless you buy more than $75 and then it's free. And if you have not shopped with us before, either in store or online, you need to go to the Quilters HQ website and right at the top of the page, there's a place that says register for Make It So, and you'll put in your information there. And we will email you an invoice for the products that you said make it mine. And you can pay with a credit card or um, PayPal. And then once we receive payment, we will get it on its way to you. So easy peasy. So, should we do two, one of each? Sure, why not? Okay, so this is our giveaway for tonight. Okay. We just need two printers now. Yeah, did you want to talk about the quilt? Yeah, well, we come up with the winner. Yeah. We can talk about the quilt. Okay. So, this is a rescue. This quilt is for sale, by the way. It's um, $4.99, $499. It is king size. It does have a spot. I have tried every kind of spot remover to get it out. It's not coming out. It's in there permanent. Um, this is all hand cross stitch. So, and beautifully done. I love the colors. And so this is one of those probably Busella quilt kits or there was a couple of them out there. So I found this at a flea market or... I don't know, antique store somewhere. And I thought, you know, I can't let, and I, I do this. If I find an unfinished quilt top, I will buy it and I will finish it. So that's what this is. 
somebody had done all this beautiful hand stitching. It was already pieced together. All it needed to be was quilted. And so I did this kind of, you know, real, it's not too densely quilting, but it's a, it's certainly custom quilted. And I did not quilt over the cross stitch because I didn't want to um, interfere with it. So, but it's probably king size. It's a big quilt. Um, it is square, so it doesn't matter how you put it on your bed. It's going to be the right way. That's a big key plus. I make all of my quilts square so that you just throw it on the bed and, you know, it's always facing the right way. But it's got a lot of heavy kind of stippling and then some um, designs that I thought were kind of in that um, Art Nouveau kind of style. I want to see some close-ups of all the stitching. Yeah. So I'll just spin that around a little bit. Well, thank you. I know, doesn't it? It makes it kind of makes my heart ache a little bit because you never know, um, you know, how these quilts become orphaned, you know, because this is hours and hours of work, not just, you know, the quilter or the, the person that did the cross stitch, mine too. So, you know, I wanted to do some quilting that would be worthy of this quilt and the maker and then... You know, so that's what I came up with. Kind of complements the, the design. But it's a beautiful quilt. And it's just kind of hanging out here looking for its forever home. I have more than enough quilts. I don't need any more. And this one is kind of too big for my home. It does have, you know, a permanent stain. It's not coming out. I've tried spot remover. I've tried Watch Dawn, <laughs> Dove, you name it. I've tried it. All of the tricks. So it's there to stay, but it's not bad. And it doesn't really detract from the beauty of this quilt. So if you want to make this for your, you know, have this as your forever quilt, comment, make it mine. I don't know, what, what would we call this? Art Nouveau quilt. I don't know. Our second winner is uh, Mindy Roberts. Our Mindy first Roberts, one. congratulations. Our first winner was Don Johnson. Don Johnson. D-A-W-N. Not the guy with the... No, not the... Not the... Uh, <laughs> with the white jacket. Was that Miami Vice? Yeah, or something? wasn't that him? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. Well, congratulations. So Amy was saying that um, my mother did cross-stitch quilts like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I've, I've, there's a couple more in the store. We've got them in use or as, as like tablecloths where they were just blocks and not sewn together, but the blocks were finished. And then maybe they only had like nine blocks. So I finished, I put those together in a little, you know, wall size quilt and sewed them together. I always rescue those blocks because, you know, someone like us took the time to make it and do some beautiful handiwork. And who knows where they are today. And, you know, be nice to finish it for them. So sometimes we carry the torch for somebody else. Uh, the garment printer actually does print on the fabric. Yep. Does not print white as a color. Correct. So you can't print on black, but if you were printing like, you know, a Baltimore album block, you print it on white. And you'd have some pretty vibrant colors. It has a lot of detail. So pretty cool stuff. And there's clip out clip art out there everywhere. Mm -hmm. Amy Brickman. She's gonna come in and do a show and okay. show you some of the really cool stuff yeah. that she's doing with it, which I with thought was really neat. With the vintage really clip neat. art yeah. and things like that, so and notions. We'll, we'll have her live on the show, and she's gonna bring in some of the stuff that she's doing, which is just fun, really cool vintage stuff. Yeah, love it. Yep. So. Well, I think that's us for tonight. Um, right up at seven, so. Yep, we're out of time. Yeah. Well, everybody be careful this week. Enjoy careful your week. This week. Remember to change your needle. 
Change your needle. Check your thread path. Reach, just re-thread the machine. If you're having trouble, just re-thread it. I know you're, you, there's... Check your needle. And check your needle. Change your needle often. It, it gets burrs on it. and You'd be surprised. Yep. So Make sure you got the right size. Make sure you got the right size. It matters. So have a good night. Thank you for joining us. Be careful if you're getting snow like us because oh. this is going to dump on us and move on. Do you know the price of a block this week? Um, yes, I do. I wrote it down. It is ten dollars and seventy six cents. Ten seventy six. Yep. So these two machines that I talked about, we cannot sell online. So you need to come in store and talk to us, or give give us a call, and our number is on the website. Easy to find. Be safe, everyone, and have a good night.